This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaperland. Weepleland. We're Hello. here. Oh wow, really Welcome. Close. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Reaperland. I was just thinking maybe for ReaperCon 2022. Yeah. For the crowd, you could just have marbles up on the big monitor, the projector, mm -hmm. and then everybody yeah. in the hall could just play. Mm. Along with people at home as well. As long as, yes. That'd be fun. English only. <sighs> Our Dread Skull, <laughs> you're, 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 you're just a downer. No, hey no German. It's Reaper Lance. It's Friday. It's Friday. It feel good Friday. John's about to go to sleep. He's <laughs> feeling so good. Yeah, we had a big lunch today. <laughs> so my tummy's all full. Cool. 
<laughs> and you got your watermelon shirt. Yeah, I don't know. This has been my favorite shirt recently. Uh, hmm. Sarah bought it for me. She's been buying me a lot of button ups recently. Oh. Reapercon Ducey Ducey? Yeah, 22. Oh, oh. Ducey, Ducey. getting all fancy there, Dr. Bob. Yeah. Last night we showed off the teaser for uh, Barrowgate. Um, that is the teaser for next year. Barrowgate. Barrowgate? Barrowgate. So the theme is going to be Barrows? Uh, I think that's just the name of the city. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I believe. Uh, Ron will know a lot more than me. I don't know much right now, but I, I know as much as you guys. Mm. Uh, I know the image. Coffee Nerdy Beer, I do have an expanded wardrobe. It's not just bowling <laughs> shirts. <laughs> just trying to make you fancy, John? Oh, I see you with my button-up shirts. Yeah, trying to bring them uptown. She really wants me to be dapper. Have you ever watched, um, what's that, um, the, the forging show, the competition? Forged, uh, forged in Fire? Forged in Fire. Forged in Fire. She wants me to dress like the guy with the mustache, with the hmm. suspenders. Oh, God, that's she wa perfect. She yeah. wants me to be very dapper, is the word I would use. <laughs> Remember that guy's name. Judges. Yeah, I can't remember his name either. But he always dresses in like, like bow tie, yeah. suspender. Like, oh, looks very. Uh, what what is that style called? I all I can say is dapper, but very like 1950s. Yeah. Or, okay. Or I don't know how to explain it. Like, uh, what what was the, what was the time whenever they were where alcohol was prohibited? The prohibition. Prohibition time. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, like flappers. Yeah, but the male, <laughs> yeah, male, male yeah. flap. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you know when the prohibition was? Uh, Roaring twenties. Or let's say twenties. No, it was in the thirties. Wasn't that the depression? That was the right. depression. Yeah, that's why it was so depressing. Uh, no, no, the Roaring Twenties was when everybody was celebrating and drinking, and then they came in with the constitutional amendment to uh, ban Pro alcohol. prohibition. Yeah. During the latter half of the twenties, and then into the thirties. Oh, there mate. you go. There Our you mate. go, John. Get a zoot suit. A zoot suit. A zoot suit. Maybe next year for Reapercon. I do plan on dressing up for Reapercon a lot more next year. That'd be cool. I'd pay. I'd, I'd give you a bonus if you dressed up as in a zoot suit. David Baker uh, is the guy from uh, Forged in Fire. That's funny that he has the same name as Dave Baker. Dave was there. Don't question him. Oh, you were there? You were in the Roaring Twenties? Yeah. Yeah, I know this sort of thing. I was all depressed. Yeah, history time. History and then I got time. into a fight. Hey, Mage is in chat. Uh, Mage helped out a lot this uh, this past weekend at ReaperCon. You know, helping us uh, put stuff away, volunteering. Mm -hmm. Same thing for Sigwolf. If Sigwolf's in chat, I know a lot of people helped out. Thanks, everybody. There you go. From 1920 here. to 33. I don't know how you did the Roaring Twenties through Prohibition, though. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that was all speakeasies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's the, kind of the, the direction I was going with. Um, but yeah, we had a big meeting today. I took a bunch of the feedback from ReaperCon and mm -hmm. kind of talked, talked about it with everybody. Got everybody's input. Uh, I think we're going to have some more meetings with that as well. But if you guys have any feedback, don't you can just tell us on social media. I know there's a forum post for RVE, uh, I'm sorry, ReaperCon 2021 feedback. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to start one on the Discord, but I'll probably just link everybody over to there. But I might make a thread on the Discord for feedback. But yeah. Dr. Bob has it right. That's how I remember the Roaring Twenties in my teenage years. Teenage years. I so, burp. it's Feel Good Friday. What feel does that Friday. mean? We match all gifted subs. There it's you the go. first time we've done it in a few weeks since yeah. ReaperCon. Uh, we were all busy during ReaperCon. Or, you know... Didn't have Reaper Land. Yeah. And so, uh, also, do you know who what the food trucks are? These are the uh, standard questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll just get them out of the way. Um, yeah. I think there's a Cajun Cajun truck today again. Oh. Uh, so, Sarah's really excited. I'm full, so I might not eat, but there's a Cajun food truck. And then, I think that's it. No. I got to mow my yard tomorrow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's Jeep Newbie in chat. Uh, yeah. Him and his family came. It's, oh, I yeah? think it was his third ReaperCon. Was he the one giving Ron? No, that was Shadow Assassin. Shadow Son. Shadow Assassin. <laughs> yeah. uh, duck, Shadow duck, Pants. Hey, Green Bob and Julie. How's it going? Hey, Bob and Julie. <laughs> we miss you during Reaper Con. Yeah. Jealous of your Cajun truck. Mm hmm. Had a great time, Jay Slugger. For my first time? Oh, nice. Jay Slugger, I didn't know it was your first time. But yeah, we had a, yeah, we had a blast. The food trucks are great. Um, There's a lot of, a lot of good feedback going on with and we have a special guest in the studio now oh justin got his uh, production assistant to bring us drinks well <laughs> big shout out paul you better walk behind there so come on paul 
Wait, is that one for me? Yeah. Oh, oh awesome. man. You got everybody something except me. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't think you liked it. <laughs> no. <laughs> getting sleepy. How's it going, guys? Hey, it's Paul. You guys might have saw him. He was running the booth at Reaper. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be seeing more of him on the up and coming shows uh, coming up next year. Oh, really? I have some skits in mind with him. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, we just did a bunch of feedback stuff with all the different sections. So basically, we went around the convention to all the different areas and said what was the cons, what were the the pros and cons. Mm -hmm. I have no idea who was doing forklift. Yes. So that was Paul. That's fulfillment. Paul. Yes. Yes, that was Paul. Sorry. I thought you were talking about Reaver Gun. Yeah, I think he exclusive. I think he was the one that drove it the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, um, to get the stuff on the pallet mm -hmm. wrapping machine. Hey, it's the guy who took my money from the melt table. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, Paul is a super nice guy. Yeah, he was running back and forth from here, uh, restocking the booth all weekend. Um, that was part of the feedback. Uh, <laughs> what kind of party was this? No, we didn't have a forklift at ReaperCon. We, had, we did have pallet jacks, though, that we moved a lot of stuff around. I have some pictures of some setup things. and So what I've been doing all week, uh, we took Monday and Tuesday off. Um, for most of us that worked the convention and then we came back Wednesday and I've been sorting through all my footage. So I have a bunch of GoPro footage, mm -hmm. my phone, the camera that I had, um, all the pictures that I took. So right now I've just been sorting them into different folders to get them ready to like edit and, and go through and post and things like that. So oh, cool. Uh, let's see. Copper hand. Yes. The brine wind imports will be there next year. That was a big success. Twistoma. It'll be called something different, but yeah. yes. TV cameras in the classroom were great. I'm glad you liked it. You yeah. can thank that man right there. Uh, wait, me? You. Weren't uh, you the one in charge of doing that? I set them up. I, I helped set them up, but it wasn't my idea to get them. Dude, dude, they're complimenting you. Oh, you sorry. gotta yeah, take it. Was it. Yeah, <laughs> it was Now, if it was total crap, you could go, it was, uh, it was Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, Justin ordered everything, and then you guys went and got the TVs. Um, but no, it was great. Um, I, I obviously we know that the cameras auto white balance and mm -hmm. we put them on a white table, which was a bad idea, but overall I think it worked out pretty well. Yeah. Um, we're going to get gray or black backgrounds for the cameras next year. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. For white balance and whatnot. Mm -hmm. With the GoPro go to the bathroom. So he has to edit it. Yeah. Yes. Overall, there was a lot of pros. Did you get a lot of uh, video from the mm -hmm. show? Mm -hmm. A lot okay. of video. Um, not, not as much, um, MSP open stuff as I wanted, but I know that there's a ton of pictures already on the MSP on the ReaperCon website. Mm -hmm. So I knew that their photos would do it justice better than any pictures I would take. So I'll yeah. be posting those throughout the years, uh, kind of leading up to next year's ReaperCon. Um, yeah, I've just kind of been sorting through everything uh, making sure I have them all organized and ready to go. Cause my, my, my computer is running out of space. So I started putting stuff on the server. Um, on our server that yeah, we have. Yeah, just go ahead and pack all your shit everywhere yeah. on mm -hmm. at Reaper. Just shove Everything it in is there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually found some stuff from past Reaper cons while looking through the server last yesterday. Albivazin, you saw... <laughs> you saw Dave. Hey, brother Dave. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, I guess I was running on a tour or something. Did you take a tour, Albivazin? And uh, Madman, I didn't see you there. Madman? Yeah. No, I know. That's that's Michael. I've been friends with him for a year. I didn't ah. see him. I didn't see him at the show, but I think he was there. Uh, the ReaperCon store, sponsored by Jacob Jansen. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Jacob was smart. He uh, donated yeah. some stuff and then was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and he had some really cool stuff in his booth. Yeah, we got... I have some pictures, actually, to show of some of his stuff later. But <clears throat> his stuff was great. You um, do, you're doing the whole... We're going to yeah. do the Twitch thing yes. here? Yes. I'm evil. <laughs> No, I think this is comfortable. I like putting my hand oh, okay. around it. Um, yeah, Mengu does the MSP photos. Yeah, he did yeah. good. Um, yeah, yeah, Doctor Bob, that was a that yeah. was a, a very big coup for that. I got I got to meet Doctor Bob. Uh, he was walking around with his top hat and his his mm. goggles on his top hat all weekend. He's tall. Yeah, tall guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, Copperham was on the the tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just ran out of time. I was going to try and get the Yenko up here and just never never got to it. But, uh, yeah, it's fun talking cars. I can do that for hours. Um, so, Emily, if you want to look at the MSP photos, go to ReaperCon.com. And then up at the top, you'll see the thing that says uh, Painting Contest. <laughs> and then go to 2021. And then I'll have the whole archive of what they got. And it's listed by names. Yeah. It was very easy to pick you out in the crowd, Dr. Bob, with your, your top hat on. There was also a couple of people that I recognized because um, 
uh, Asmodeus Soulpire. He mm -hmm. normally wears a mask, yeah. like a like a like this black mask with red on it, and he was not wearing his mask, but he was wearing the uh, the, 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 the virus the mask. The mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I didn't recognize him because <laughs> I've only seen him with the mask on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so uh, when he when I showed when he showed me his badge, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't recognize you without your mask on, um, which I guess is the point of a mask. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty funny. Oh yeah, Mad Men like the. Uh... Oh, the, Galaxy, the Galaxy Cloak. Cloak. Yeah, that that's... was um, Kevin Holderney. I think Kevin Holderney taught that class. Mm -hmm. My favorite story. I told it during the uh, right before the awards ceremony while we were getting everything set up. Was the story of the Yesterday Kid. Um, I don't know if you heard about this, but mm -hmm. there's this kid named Gavin. Uh, him and his dad showed up to ReaperCon, and Gavin was running around trying to get all, all these uh, ribbons, trying okay. to get all the ribbons. Yeah, doing the ribbon quest. And yeah. he was just running around everywhere crazy. Um, but he, I think the kid from yesterday, yeah, I call him the yesterday kid. Um, I think he was talking to Chaos Wolf, I think. And uh, to, in order to get a ribbon from Chaos Wolf, you had to ask him what a conversion was. Oh, and so okay. Chaos Wolf explained to him what a conversion was, showed him a bunch of examples. And then he gave him the ribbon and he said, well, now you have to do your homework and you have to like come back and show me a conversion. Oh, okay. So the next day when uh, Chaos, I think it was Chaos Wolf, got to his desk in Artist Alley, he had a little note card that said the kid from yesterday on it with a little conversion model on it. <laughs> um, and so I, call, I kept calling him the kid from yesterday. Sounds like a good uh, sci-fi plot. Yeah, it was the Chaos Wolf. Yeah. from yesterday. Yeah, it was definitely Chaos Wolf. That's awesome. Um. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> um, and so it was, it was awesome. Justin, the sultry voice of Justin back there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what was your favorite part of ReaperCon? Oh, yeah. I don't think we've ever, we, nobody's um, asked you yet that. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get him more included. It was the PA. The um, it was the, uh, um, you know what? Actually, I think it was the MSP award ceremony. You'd like that one. I did because. We produced the hell out of that, and that took some time and effort mm -hmm. and like thought on Frank and I's part. So like, it that was very challenging. I would say I say challenging. We definitely had to critically think in terms of how to solve the issue we had. Yeah, and it it worked out well, minus you know the the photo, photo the blank photo. Some of the photos stuff. not loading, but yeah. I didn't have control over that. Yeah, it wasn't, okay. Yeah, we're going to point the blame to somebody else on that. Um, I'm not saying it's someone else. Yeah. I'm saying I didn't have control over that. Uh, but all the um, pictures are up on the MSP Open website. Yes. Hmm. So. Oh, that's good. I liked uh, Colin's shark fin. It's oh, an easy. Man. Oh, yeah. It's an easy entry there. Just put He's been the, talking about it all week. <laughs> just put some water, simu simulated water around a fin. <laughs> Um, and then let's, let's just go ahead. I have some pictures for uh, today's going to be an all all pictures from ReaperCon episode, just sure. because. Um, just because I, I can. John wants to. Yeah, I can. So this was obviously the Reaper Errant game. This is right when they were getting set up and started. Oh yeah. Okay. There's Jason. There's. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I take that back. My favorite was actually that D and D. The game chaos game. Sunday morning. We'll talk about that. That looked yeah. like a lot of fun. I only got Jesus. to see the opening, but yeah, that <laughs> you've was... got to go watch it on the vod. I laughed till I cried multiple times. Yeah, it was I got rough. Good belly laughter. Like I said, yeah. the only thing you guys looked like you were missing was an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> you can see the this light right here. Um, Above, yeah, yeah, right there, right mm -hmm. in the middle, was on these. What's it called? A tr tress? Truss. 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 It was yeah. on this big truss that we had in, encompassing this table. Um, and Frank bought this, or he brought this big light um, right there, that big one in the middle. It was so bright. But it was That's so good use, because man. it illuminated everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what they use for all their D&D &D games. It actually uses, are you ready for this? I surprise you, Dave. It uses a 1,000-watt incandescent. Oh, the original uh, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very, very. He has to handle it with a glove. Yeah. You had to take a special have, glove out. Yeah, you oh. can't have oil on it. Oh, and yeah, no. You'll start a fire. S something like that. Yeah, it would. Yeah, just your grease in your fingers, yeah. Right. It, it was or a, the oils, it looked yeah. like a, a gardener's glove that he wore. Hmm. Um, right. That's why it's so bright in this picture. I'm surprised, yeah, because, you know, everybody walk away looking, you know, like this, going like, I can't see anything for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, you never had to, like, look up at yeah. that light. Even if you did. Uh, the diffusion screen was, mm -hmm. was very good. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, um, but this table was built by Ruben and the and the guys. Mm 
Um, how big is that table, Justin? Eight by eight? Eight by eight with a scoop out for the D&D. Yeah. DM. Well, you see where Frank's oh, sitting? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a big cutout. So where is this table now? It's on a pallet somewhere? It is over in this warehouse next to okay. the other oh, okay. s- secondary desk. It's in the Kickstarter warehouse. We, we actually have to talk about what we're going to do with it, but I don't want to, like, Boil it. Right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. We will be using it. We will. In the we'll future. be using it. We're not going to be using it for kindling or anything. <laughs> no. no. We're going to be oh, using okay. it for its purpose. Correct. Um, Maybe but, we can get Frank up here again. Yeah. Just to take a trip up to Reaper for no reason. You know? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're uh, un- unintentionally spoiling things. <laughs> oh. If, whoops. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to sit here and drink my diet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this table is awesome. Um, it was really cool, but this was the picture that I took to kind of promote or show off that we were starting the Reaper Errant game. You can see the big boat back there. Um, we had like how many cameras? Eleven, I think there was eleven total cameras everywhere. Yes, we maxed out our PCIe buses mm-hmm. as well as the SDIs allowed on them. We literally had eleven cameras. So anybody that watched any of the D and D games, I thought I thought they looked phenomenal. So you could have eleven cameras here in the studio, Justin? We could, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You want to like? We really want eleven cameras. Just eleven I, different angles. I don't, I don't think we need eleven <laughs> angles of you, Dave. Really? Maybe. I do sign okay. the checks. All right, fine. We'll do that. <laughs> you're the right. You're, you're making the call here. All right. Yeah, Frank Incoming, and the, everyone. Frank and the team were Frank and the team were awesome. Yeah, there was they a lot were, of they were there. great. They were great. And then next we have oh this is the this setup. Was, this was the night of setup. This is whenever I we never were, saw you walking around with that camera brace. Uh, yeah, this is was that, this was. We were just, uh, we got done setting up the convention and mm. Frank and all of them were moving all their stuff in. And Is that I was like, oh, what's this? Frank's? That's Frank's. Oh. Uh, it's a little, it's like a fly cam. Yeah. A little fly steady cam. And he was so yeah. excited mm. to show me that he was like, here, put this on, put this on, put this on. I was like, okay, Frank. I noticed yeah. this weekend that Frank gets really excited about. He, he does. Like he this. loves tech like I do. <laughs> He's like, here, do this, do this, do yeah. this. Yeah. I was like, okay, Frank. You got well, it. when you guys came around that corner, I'm like on a mission. I've talked with Kit. I've got to get oh, yeah. the keys to the car. And I'm walking down the hallway. And the next thing I look up. There's a whole then, camera crew. And there, yeah. There's this the boom mic. I forget her name. <laughs> she's very nice, but she's holding Meg. the mic. Okay. Meg, holding yes. the boom mic. And then you're standing there talking. And Justin's behind the scenes doing his big production stuff. And yeah. there's a cameraman. I'm like, hi. <laughs> hi this is brother dave blah 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 that was the first yeah, time we used it, too. it was the first time that they ever used it so it was you know a little learning pains but i think mm-hmm. it worked out okay yeah we'll probably be using that more in the future as well yeah I mean, it it oh. needs it has some some bugs that need to be oh wow sorry but yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it was fun um, nice panoramic shot yeah yeah this was the That's night nice this is the night of the MSP Open. Um, okay. This is while we were waiting for some of the technical stuff to get figured out. Yeah. Um, There's I, Ron I, on the left. Yeah, with uh, he's talking to Cheryl. I think mm-hmm. is what it looks like. Um, so I got up on stage and I did my whole little my little um, tripod thing that I have shoots a big 240 degrees mm. panorama. And so, yeah. I Trash, you don't see yourself there. No, Trash is all the way. He's he's on your side of the picture. Uh-huh. Uh, he's all the way over there in the back right. Ah. Uh. I remember where he was sitting. <laughs> and and Waldo was there? I <laughs> found Waldo. <laughs> we had Waldo at the show? Um, but yeah, I, I got a couple of these pictures, and I thought this was the coolest one. There's oh, Lord Dave right here in the Yeah, front. and I got to meet Lord Dave. He's right there. Yeah. Boop. I sat next to him during the MSP Open. But this was right before the award ceremony, which it felt really comfortable. I remember in 2019, there was a bunch of people standing. Yeah. Um, we had less tables this year, but... Um, Space everybody out. But yeah, no, it was... And it was phenomenal. It was a good crowd. I feel like we got a lot of people. I can see my hair, Corporea. Oh, Corporea is, uh, I believe, over here. Oh, at the uh, uh, honors desk. Yeah. Or, yeah. Because you were handing out uh, awards and medals and stuff, Corporea. <laughs> uh, post that to the forum's pick folder. I will, Jeep newbie. There you go. The Shadow Raven. Pay oh. the next Reaper order to a bill for the person that finds me. <laughs> um, oh, somebody asked, what was the total head count? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say. I know it. I just don't know if I'm allowed to say. Um, I don't know why we wouldn't say it, but I just haven't been told. That I'm good. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, get clearance. I'm very careful when I say stuff because I, I need to make sure I'm, I'm able to first. Uh, this, I don't know if you saw this. This was the best in show costume. Is this the dungeon adventure, like the one that has everything? This was, yeah, this is Oswald the Overladen. 
Yes. Um, this was one of our models, one of the yeah. Reaper models. The uh, ultimate the ultimate adventure. You know, it just you has see, everything. You can see on his cart that he was wheeling around, the, the one with the skull on it yeah. uh, to his right. That's his base. He made a base for the mini. Oh. And you can see where his feet stand. Uh, but yeah, this is Oswald. 77141 is the number. Mm. Oswald the Overladen. <laughs> um, it was so funny. He won Best in Show. Yeah. Uh, his name's Mike. I don't know if he's in chat, but shout out to Mike. Um, he came to Reaper Con, or he came to Reaper and took a tour a few years ago, and he was transporting a bunch of snakes because I believe he teaches kids about reptiles. He teaches kids about iguanas and reptiles and snakes and stuff. Okay. And he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna come up for a tour, but I I'm coming back down from teaching uh, kids and stuff about reptiles. If if Reaper wants to do a little, like." show i can i can show the snakes for people i was like maybe another time yeah <laughs> i don't know yeah, yeah i don't know no. about that but yeah it was fun uh shout out to mike i remember i remember that tour. there you go dr Bo. oh copperhand there he is is that you copperhand is this you um oh really is that 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 is handle i believe so oh, okay. let me know copperhand but yeah this was this was best in show um i was thinking about uh, for the next year's costume contest i was talking to lauren maybe we should have a uh reaper specific mm -hmm. uh category if anybody, if 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 that anybody thinks that's a smart idea, um, <clears throat> uh, like a Reaper model, so mm -hmm. I might dress up as a Reaper model next year. I'm not going to tell anybody what it's going to be, but I will probably dress up as a Reaper model next year. So shout out to Copperhand. Uh, oh, this is oh, there's trash. He's right here. Where? In the in the orange. Oh, okay. Uh, sitting next to D, his wife. We found you, trash. And Mage in the pink hair. Mage in chat. Oh, he is in the okay. pink hair, right to the right, to his right. Um, but yeah, the, oh, sorry. <laughs> but this is the uh, John's this, going crazy with the buttons. <laughs> this is the back room. This is the back of the room uh, for the MSP, and this is the screen where we got to see all the MSP entries and things like that. So, I think yeah, Anne was doing the announcing. Wasn't yeah, she, she did good. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I know she fumbled her papers a little bit. <laughs> she said normally they staple them, but this year they weren't stapled, so some of the papers got jumbled <laughs> we're trying to conserve yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah i just took a few shots just for you Ann. oh my oh, god there Wait. you go did you add there this you one? go <laughs> no <laughs> what the, justin added this one i didn't i didn't put this one in here who made this trash trash make this <laughs> um tater, tater gate. gate into the dungeon <laughs> that's funny <laughs> that's good Oh, uh, there's no. This has to be trash. <laughs> He's the only person that could that could do this this quickly. That's so funny. <laughs> That's good. Troll me when I have the when I'm going through the photos. <laughs> Spud Dungeon. Yeah. Uh, but anybody doesn't know Barrow Gate. This is the concept art for the Barrow Gate. <laughs> Tater Gate. Whoa! I didn't. I didn't add this one either. Is this Keldor? Wait, did Keldor no. send you these? I know who that is. That's Keldor. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, if he's in chat. <laughs> Shout out to Keldor. No, uh, Trash and I definitely added some photos. Added some photos. <laughs> oh, okay. So, that, uh, my dad went to Vietnam and he brought back these slides <laughs> years ago. Yeah. And he was showing us. We were all kids sitting around watching. And what they have over there is they would have uh, what they call piss tubes. And that's where you go and relieve yourself uh -huh. if you needed to. And then there was this one tube looked exactly like one but it had a thing that says this is not a piss tube this is a rain gauge <laughs> oh i see and as kids we just we just died laughing <laughs> uh shout out to Keldor. he's emptying his water yeah emptying his water here yeah um good one uh he he com Keldor, by the way complained about the hot weather in texas the whole time oh did he how he was melting and he didn't want to stand outside where does he where's he from? he's from up north where it's cold so. oh yeah, Welcome this, to Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kel, I hung out with Keldor a lot. Keldor and Trash. He he's from up north near the Chicago area where they get snowstorms in July. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it was hotter. It was hotter than Florida. Hey, Act Angel Bane. Uh, she won first place in the costume contest. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Uh, I remember the first day of registration. I think it was Thursday. She goes, "Oh, hey, um, I'm so and so, Acta Angel Bane. Acta, by the way." I was like, "Oh, Acta." It was fun. It was fun putting names to faces. Um, oh, there you go. Recycle one. it. Call uh, label them free punch, uh, fruit punch, <laughs> fruit punch. <laughs> Let's see. Is there any more? Nope. Okay. Uh, this was our team's score for Gauntlet, Lord Dave, uh, which I believe we came in like fourth place or something like that, fifth place. But all the teams that competed uh, had already gone by Sunday, mm -hmm. so we were the only ones. Lord, I mean Lord Dave's team, our team were the only ones left for the announcements. 
which we'll do announcements on Sunday next year. We'll talk more about that as we do. Get we know who won the whole gauntlet thing. Um, it was the Flying Squirrels. Oh, I think okay. it was the team called the Flying Squirrels. Yeah. Oh, I agree, Lord Dave. Must be present to win. Yeah, well, yeah, we won. Must be present <laughs> to win. We were the only ones there. There you out go. Of all the teams that. Competed. There you go. Ron talked a big game. Guess what? They didn't even compete. Oh, this is we got this machine because this is Ron's game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he didn't even compete. Hey, Chaos Queen. Oh, Dr. Bob, that's your team? The Flying Squirrels? I think that was their name. That's funny. Mm. It's the Blind Squirrels. Oh. Got it. I knew it was something with squirrels in it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Gauntlet was very fun. I liked, I liked that idea. We'll do more of that. Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully we can coerce Ron into, because we got it for him. And it, <laughs> the whole tournament was because it's Ron's he game, wanted to, right? Yeah. yeah, so you can talk big. That was, oh, that was Fear of Our Team, Revenge of Maggot Crown. That mm. was our team. That was our team's name, Revenge of Maggot Crown. And Honey Bunny says her husband oh. was on the team. Last minute edition. Nice. You win. Hey, in trouble. Oh, here's, um, I don't know if you guys saw this shirt, Justin, but this was Ardius, the guy who made us the Reaper Live shirts, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll be bringing yours next week. Okay. Um, his well, wife. I want to say super, super incredibly nice, dude. Yeah, Ardius is so Insanely nice. Insanely positive. Like, I wish I had half the energy of that dude. <laughs> he got uh, third place in the custom contest. Mm -hmm. He was um, uh, Captain James Hook Oh. Okay. in his red costume. He had a matching mask and everything. Mm -hmm. But his wife made him a bunch of shirts, and this one was one of them worth the wait with our ship on it. Yeah. Um, and he made us a bunch of Reaper Live shirts with a bunch of hashtags and funny things from the from the thing. It has Comedy Corner on there. Mm -hmm. uh, it has, uh, has all kinds of... All the, all the inside jokes and stuff on it. So... Shout um, out to Ardius. Who was it? Someone was asking. Oh, Dr. Bob. Uh, they get wrapped up and then stored until we, we need them again. For what? The, uh, they were asking what, where the gauntlet game lives between oh. Reaper guns. Yeah. We have a few arcade games. We just wrap them up. and I think the gauntlet eventually and the games that we already have over there are going to go into the new store, the Pizza Dungeon the Pizza and Dungeon. Arcade. Mm -hmm. These are going to be the arcade games. But until we can actually have it open, it's just going to get stored. Yeah. It doesn't have a, a permanent, a forever home right now. Oh yeah, his uh, his wife also built the costume for him. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah, it was nice. It was a nice costume. So shout out to Ardius. Uh, this was the meet and greet. I got a good shot of Ron right here. He's holding his uh pizza dungeon bracelets. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. I was wondering what he's. <laughs> so yeah, the the pizza dungeon bracelets. So so I remember a few years ago we had a little ticket that you had to hand at the door. We would yeah, tear it yeah, and then you yeah. would go inside. This this year, Ron and Adrian decided to have the bands because oh. it'd be easier to see people. Yeah. and you didn't have to worry about it. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. So uh, I didn't make it to the meet and greet. How was how was, was the burgers nice. and dogs and? I mean, the food was okay. But let's let's be real. We're all there to kind of hang out and have fun. We're not yeah. there for the food. You're not. No. <laughs> uh, the food was okay. It was decent. It wasn't like you know, woo like flip the table like amazing but <laughs> it was it was good enough to eat you know it was great well i hope you wouldn't flip the table <laughs> <laughs> that was good um yeah it really wasn't bad yeah it mm. wasn't that bad it was good it was, i think it was probably better than the pizza to be honest the um, uh, yeah hopefully i doubt it but hopefully we can have it at the store next year the meat oh the meat yeah Ooh. where we have the the pizza pizza dungeon the food was acceptable it was acceptable oh, okay. there you go but yeah yeah, the meet and greet was fun. I, I enjoyed the meet and greet because it's the first time everybody's seeing everybody. Mm -hmm. You can get your pre-registration done so you don't have to worry about it on Thursday, which I think we've discussed <laughs> about talking, opening it up a little bit earlier. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that more later. You know, trash is always there for those positive comments. Well, nobody died. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You need to find a way to make people mingle like 20 minutes in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. You can. To kind of like churn, churn it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Put out like a, a, a matching numbers or some sort of scavenger hunt between tables or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody get up and go to a random table. All right. And so you just talk to everybody at the table. That sounds like a good idea. Acta. And the next is... Oh, this is the Jacob Jansen mini. Oh, yeah. So I believe Bobby Jackson, me... Ron and Ed got one of these. Yeah. You got a pen. I got three pens. Three pens. And Justin got a knife. Yeah. So all of these dagger were made by Jacob specific. Jansen. Huh? Dagger to be specific. Oh, a dagger. He made you a dagger. Sick. Not just a knife. Come on. It's a dagger. <laughs> That's not a knife. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, Jake, uh, so Jacob Jansen, he had his mini released, and a bunch of the people in the community painted it and sent it him, sent him one mm -hmm. uh, for his collection. I made him five polished figures, um, acid dipped and polished, mm -hmm. and then he only needed one of those for his collection, and then he made four of them into these like little uh, things that he makes with these eggs and resin. Um, you can see the the model in there in the middle. Couldn't get a really good picture of it because it was really reflective of the light. But all of ours were different. Uh, he dyes the wood. Mm -hmm. And I think he, like, uh, what is the word? Hydrate? No. Uh, like how you make jerky? Dehydrate? He, like, dehydrates the wood. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and then he, like, puts smoked. all this stuff in it. Hmm? Smoked. Smoked? When you're doing your, your jerky, you're smoking. Oh, the smoking the jerky. Yeah. I was like, uh, how you make it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah. He, like, dries, dries it, it out. out. Yeah. Stabilizes it. Smokes yeah. it stabilizes <laughs> yeah he cooks his wood it's actually just making brisket yeah, right. yeah, yeah yeah there you go <laughs> i'm hungry no um but it's cool because he adds all these little floaty things on the inside to make it look like they're floating up it's very cool very dragon ball z it reminds what it reminds me of but shout out to jacob i got this i got a few shots of it um oh here's okay. lauren and eric uh at the brinewin import store oh um cool little funny thing i think i have another picture nope Okay, we'll see it later. Okay. But there's a chest right there. Um, it was supposed to be used as decoration around the con. Yeah. Uh, I bought a bunch of stuff for me that I used for decorations at the con. So after the con, I would take them home and use them for decorations at my house. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to use that as the register. So as you guys turned in the Reaper Bucks, as people turned in the Reaper Bucks to buy stuff at the Brian yeah. One Import Store, you put the coins inside the chest. Oh, the chest. Yeah. But now I took the chest home. So we don't have has, a chest. And it has a bunch of Reaper coins in it. Uh -huh. uh, so now it looks like it's full of coins. <laughs> Yeah, that was my master plan all along that's eric harper by the way he's oh, yeah, uh eric. he's going into the air force isn't it i believe the air force I yeah believe. yeah the navy huh what the navy oh he's going to the navy oh he's, he's going a, into he's the a, navy he's a seaman got it no he's going into the air force wait really i don't know i can't yeah, tell who's cause, lying because his training is down at lackland air force it, base got it. in San Antonio. It, it is air force okay right. he's going when, to he, air force. when he first said he was but, enlisting but, he said you know every Navy. time that any opportunity that justin can get the word to say <laughs> seaman yeah <laughs> he listen to clarify when he first said he was enlisting he's like yeah i'm going into the navy i'm going to be a seaman and i'm like you'll be my favorite seaman eric don't worry and uh <laughs> since then he's changed to an airman but he's still a seaman in my book yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but he they, and they, then when he comes back you can all go you're always going to be a seaman to me <laughs> <laughs> perfect uh this is lauren obviously you guys know she wore a different costume every day yeah so shout out to lauren and eric they both work in the internet department but like you said eric is leaving he's about to go on basic training i think so. yeah so shout out to eric and uh -oh. then <laughs> uh oh i got a little quick shot of proctor and and ron i think this was before the first interview that that proctor did with uh i think this was the live crow's nest with uh who was their guest? Corporea, maybe? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Mo Brock's hitting you up as a hint for a Reaper coin. I'm hoping to get a Reaper coin in my recent order. Wink, wink. Ah, oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, Lauren did a lot this con. Yeah. Shout out to Lauren. Uh, she didn't make it in 2019 because I think she went to Dragon Con. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised she got time off to do that. <laughs> but we finally convinced her to stay here and do yeah. help us with a Reaper con. Yeah, who needs Dragon Con? Clip it and ship it. Uh, oh, here's the Reaper booth. So the Reaper booth, we've already talked about changes that we're going to be making for this next year. Um, I, I love these crates. They were custom made for us. They're really cool. They're really great for conventions mm -hmm. because they close into the like, big boxes that you kind of see at yeah. uh, concerts and stuff where people transport stuff. But the cool thing is that you just open them up and then they're ready to go. Yeah. So Very, very self-contained. Uh, awesome. uh, who was that? Uh, Twistoma. Are the interviews going to be on the two or on YouTube? Um, I, I believe so. We have all the days. Um, they're yes. all in like big long days, but Justin might break them up. They're, yeah, I can either chop them up into individual like segments. Mm -hmm. um, now they may appear on YouTube before chopped up as individual days. So if you can't wait, you want, actually really if you can't wait, go watch them quick. Yeah, right? day one, two, three, and four. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And they're kind of in there. Let's see. Next we Oh, this oh, was the map. This, this was my favorite thing in the Brinewind uh store, the Brinewind Imports. Uh that's the Reaper Reef drawn by uh Christine Van Patten. I love it. It's hanging up in my office. I have one at home too. Mm -hmm. Um they were 300 Reaper bucks. You can see up there on the top right. 300 Reaper bucks. Shout out to anybody that got one of these. 
Uh, you might see them in orders if we have any left over. They might be just be given out in random orders. Justin, do we, uh, Madman wants to know, do we have an official YouTube channel? Yeah, exclamation point YouTube. Yes. We do. Uh, Trashorama, just put it in chat. Oh, okay. Now, um, mind you, and I need to, this is a big disclaimer for that. We don't make content for YouTube. We mm-hmm. do it here, and then that archives all of our stuff. Mm-hmm. So if you want to watch it there, you can. But you're not going to find anything special there that you don't. Yeah, want. we don't make YouTube content really. Yet. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Uh, oh, this is, this is funny. So when we were getting set up on Wednesday, mm-hmm. we were setting everything up in the main hall, and the Brenwin Import Store was being built because um, we didn't know exactly how it was going to look 100%. We had right. an idea. Yeah. And we, because we, normally we rent box trucks when yes. we move stuff, and normally we put the pallets on the box trucks yes. to kind of store them, but we hence didn't have box we, trucks this year. That's why we would need a forklift, yes. <laughs> but, but Collins had the idea. Oh, let's just take all the the pallets and put them in this corner because it'll look like because the brand one imports was supposed to resemble like a dock. It was yeah, supposed to be like yeah. a dock and you're coming down to the yeah. dock to like haggle and do stuff with. Did anybody try and haggle with you? Um, no one tried to haggle, but I don't know if people could realize that they could haggle. Hmm. We didn't really advertise that they could. could. Yeah. Um, so um, that was a little secret thing that you guys could probably try to do is haggle. Oh, Alviva's in haggled. Oh, of course he Shout did. Out. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Bob Haggle and he won big. Nice. So there are some people that did haggle. Mm. Um, some people didn't know. Yeah, it was a secret. But yeah, this was a cool aesthetic. I liked it a lot, actually. And then we used it to put stuff on. Mm-hmm. It was just a cool idea. And it worked out great, I think. So shout out to Collins. That was a good idea. Dr. Bob had to sing. <laughs> I know on Sunday they were making people do uh, weird stuff to get things. Like if they were short, like a few hundred yeah. reaper bucks, they yeah. were like, all right, uh, spin around in a circle five times or <laughs> Something like that. And then, oh, here's the chest. Oh, that's where all the coin went. So this was about halfway filled up. Yeah. I took a picture of it, but now it's full. It's like overflowing with coins. Oh. So suckers, I got all your coins. (laughs) They're at my house. The plan came together. Did you buy or earn Reaper Bucks? So you had to earn them. You earned them by doing things, taking classes, going on a tour with me, playing games, entering the MSP Open, uh, Hobby hijinks, mm-hmm. all kinds of stuff. Which there are going to be more stuff to get points next year. Um. Oh, uh, it, Lauren made this. This was that registration. It was the Reaper ReaperCon costume contest with all the information and stuff on it. Um. I think it's great. So shout out to Lauren for making this. And then it says mm-hmm. participate to get me. So you got a decked out ribbon mm. if you dressed up at all, and you and you came by registration, you got oh. the decked out ribbon. I'm always after the booty. <laughs> <laughs> what are the gray ones? Oh, um, these. So those you got special for entering into the MSP Open. So if you pre-registered mm-hmm. for the MSP Open, then you got one of these silver $300 coins. Oh, each one was 300 Yeah, the and silver much, ones are 300 And the yellow gold are 100 Are 100 Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So um, I would expect maybe a little bit uh, next year, a little bit of a spoiler. You might get to see some traditional D&D currency. Maybe we'll see. Um, or something like that. We'll see. Uh, no spoilers. Oh, here's the head. I took a picture of him on the big screen, uh, painting his uh, with a house brush, which I heard the stream was actually really cool with all the different camera angles and all the stuff we were able to get. All it those camera like angles that Ed could have, but I can't. <laughs> it looks good. The production was really high. Shout out to Nightheart. We're going to be talking about Nightheart pretty much until next week. <laughs> so I would expect to hear that name at least once every week from somebody. Um, Let's see. But yeah, that, that, this was fun. By the end of it, his hand was covered in paint. So uh, it looks good, uh, which we, we will be giving away this boat next week. Yeah. And we announced it last week. So the, the boat that, or last night, the boat that Ed painted on this Twitch yeah. stream during the event will mm-hmm. be given away next Thursday uh, uh, during Reaper Live. So come by next Thursday. Check it out. We'll be giving away a big old boat. Um, uh, Twistama. That is true. Sadie has moved on. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, we didn't say anything about it last night. Oh, that's true. Well, we you saw the punch list we were going yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, somebody had wanted to get home and see a football yeah. game. I had all these pictures to show last night too. Mm-hmm. So, but oh well, that's why I'm showing them today. Yeah, but it's okay. That's why you guys are here. You guys are the real G's. Plus, we're fun to hang out with. Um, 
Yes, this is we, the basin tank. Yes, Lieutenant Floby, we wish her the best in her new in her new uh, adventures. Endeavors. You got a picture with her at the at the factory. I did see that. Um, this is the basin take. Um, this is kind of a little thing. It was right next to the paint take and right next to the hobby hijinks. You can come by and base your stuff as you painted them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a cool idea. I like the basin take every year. Shout out to the basin take people. Oh, oh yeah. Talked about this last night. The puzzle. So this was in the board game area. This was Adrian's idea. Um, she said, oh, we got, we, she went out and got a pirate puzzle and just threw it on the table and was like, here you go. <laughs> um, and as people kept walking by, you know, you have 30 minutes to spare. Yeah. You sit down with your friends and solve a few pieces. You sit down for an hour or so, solve a few pieces, mm -hmm. get up, go to your class or whatever. And then throughout the day, throughout the weekend, people kept coming by. You can see that they started to separate the puzzle pieces by their colors and things like that for other people. This is really awesome. So yeah. I think next year we might do something well, Yeah, we'll definitely this. do something like this. I, I have it on my list. To Except do what happened special. to this? Was it finished and what happened to it? I don't it? know what happened to it. I, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know who would know. Maybe be uh, Mr. Bender. Um, I would have to see what happened to it. I don't, I don't know how it got put up or mm -hmm. where it went. or I don't know. But next year, I kind of want to sign. I want to put up like a little ledger. So if you worked on the puzzle, you can write your name down. Mm -hmm. And then maybe get it framed and put that next to it or yeah. frame it with yeah. it. I think um, it'll be a good idea. By the way, your your wall out here in the studio was a big hit. Yeah, everybody I mean, that, yeah. that had their names yeah, on Yeah, they, they were coming uh, when the, we were starting the tour. So, is, is the wall with all the names, is that going to be on the tour? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's uh, funny as Ed had put that. Uh, you probably see it in the hallway play thing. Yeah. Amongst a bunch of other project type crap and it was covering that wall oh and that was the last thing that i moved when i came nice <laughs> crap, people are going to want to see this yeah shift it all shout out uh, to anybody in chat that got to see their name on the wall mm -hmm. if we finish the puzzle does someone come along and take it back apart again hopefully not no not shout out to the people who brought a, a vis a vis <laughs> marker with them yeah and wrote their name in oh that'd be crazy oh <laughs> um let's see but yeah, I think I think next year we'll get this framed as well because we'll we'll probably put it, uh, a cardboard thing out and then you know I don't know how you do puzzles but you know you flip them over mm -hmm. you glue them yeah frame them all that stuff. just put a yeah you put a backer with some uh, some mm -hmm. sticky tack on it and mm -hmm. now that you have it that you can just put it in a frame. Copperhand said he found his him and his son's names awesome Hyper Bunny found hers mm -hmm. or their families. Uh, I had to find my name. Nearly missed out on the studio walkthrough for Dr. Bob. Yeah, they're in alphabetical order, so they're really easy to, to find. Uh, this is the Brinewin game. I know that we showed a picture of it off last night, but this is from the... the where the, the ghost ship view. appears and yeah. it starts expelling ghosts. And I think we sent one of these boats with uh, Frank. I think one of these boats went with Frank. Nightheart. So yeah, this is a big hit. Uh, I would expect another game kind of like this or, you know, the Barrow Gate game, mm -hmm. whatever the storyline will be for that for next year. Out probably in the same area. Uh, the drink specials. So we had the Drunken Mermaid, the Barty's Brew, Health Potion, Luck Potion. Tell him about the, uh, I'm sure you told it last night, but tell him again about the bartender. The, the bartender? Yeah, yeah. He, he emailed us um, recently, actually. He wants to kind of do some stuff. We'll, we'll, we might be messaging him back. Um, but the bartender was really, uh, really nerdy. You know, I gave him a tour, uh, like a year ago, him and his girlfriend, and he was so excited. He took a bunch of classes. It was funny because during the day he was walking around in his normal clothes with his badge on and he was like, you know, hanging out with everybody. And then at night he would be at the bar serving everybody drinks. Uh, <laughs> uh, shout out to Michael. Michael was his name. Oh, okay. Thanks, Acta. Shout out to Michael. Yeah, he was awesome. He was very energetic, very cool guy. Um, he helped, he helped us out a lot, uh, printing out pieces of paper, with all the information on it and everything like that. My favorite was the Drunken Mermaid. It was the Midori Sour. I had that uh, a few times. Uh, and then the Baka Cranberry was good too. The Health Potion was good too. But you get to roll a D20 down a Dice Tower. Oh, yeah. If you roll the 18, 19, or 20, you got upgraded drinks, upgraded alcohol, like top shelf alcohol. It was a good idea. Smart. Um, <laughs> he, he said he went to his boss and said, hey, we want, I want to do this for this convention. And he goes, all right, put it in the budget. <laughs> so he bought as much dice as he could with the budget that he had. Uh, oh, thanks, Big Apple. Reaper bartending stream? Hey, maybe. Maybe he, he knows some flair. I wonder if he came up. Who came up with the drinks? Do we know? No, I don't know. I wonder if he did. Or was it Ron and Adrian? Probably Ron and Adrian. 
you know, Adrian is the only Reaper employee with a bar in her office. Oh, yeah, so, true. You know. The web bar. Yeah. But yeah, the, these graphics were made by, um, oh, Adrian, Ron and Adrian know his name. He works at the hotel. He does all their graphics for their TVs and stuff. But he oh. made this graphic for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was all over the hotel as well um, with the ReaperCon stuff on it. And really cool. Shout out. I think his name was James. Um, I could be wrong about that. So shout out to him. He made a lot of cool graphics for us. Uh, oh, here's Lauren again. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> this was the one that she wore during the uh, costume contest. So this was the pink pirate, the the pink pirate costume that she wore. The Dread Skull. There's a lot of benefits to working at Reaper. <laughs> Adrian gets a bar. Ron gets a hot tub. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, hotel did a great job. Yeah, they were they were really into it this year. Do do do. Ah, uh, the sons of Barty. These traitors. I know Ron <laughs> talked about it last night, but. Uh, this guy who's holding the poster went and bribed Ron and Adrian and said, hey, can I take the poster down and walk around and get free stickers from everybody? So he was walking around looking for hand, hand me, handouts. Handout votes. Yeah, for the Sons of Barty. And then he went to Ludo and tricked him. And then they got like an extra like 300, 400 points putting them <laughs> in third place and pushing my faction, the, the spawns. Oh. The spawn of Mayor Saluth down oh. in fourth place. So that explains all the poison that you're talking about. Yeah, sons of beggars. <laughs> SOBs. Uh, so I hate I hate that. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, I think that's it. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's all I got. I have a lot more, but I wanted to didn't want to overflow. But there we go. That's all I got. Hmm. Storm Chasers Fueva. What time are we looking at? We got marbles? Oh, we got wow. marbles and we're running out of time. We got them out. We got to do it quick. You know, John, he's just so long-winded. Yeah, I talk a lot. So. Yeah, you saw that on Ed's tours, right? My brother it, yeah. my brother over the years would always sit around and go, okay, Dave, you know, give these these VIPs a tour, but make it quick, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I take him around and whatnot. You just talk too much, Dave. You're taking too long. Well, then then he split. we're splitting up the groups now. So, Ed, you take half, I'll take half. Hell, I was I was finished every every tour. I was finished before he was. Nice. It's like, what the hell are you doing, Ed? You're taking too yeah. long. You're talking too much. I told this story like he was complaining. Why do your tours take so long? To me, he yeah. asked me, why do your tours take so long? I was like, I don't know. I just talk. I tell stories. I go to different sections. Sometimes people ask questions, uh, and then I heard that his tours were taking forever. So I was like, got him. That's yeah. what you get. Yeah. <laughs> so and then and then and then. At my desk, you had the, the oh. faction points mm -hmm. and then the ribbons for the tours to give out. Mm -hmm. I put the box right there in the center of my desk so it would be easy to remember and do. He never did it. Yep. Every time at the end of it, okay, we're going to get on the bus. Don't we go to uh, ribbon? A ribbon? Yes. He <laughs> didn't give you one? <laughs> <laughs> he was just, Ed was just being thorough. Well, he missed the, the faction points and the ribbon. So Yeah, not <laughs> that thorough. <laughs> well, like. Thoreau. 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 There you go. More, more of a, yeah, more of a Shakespearean kind of thing. Oh, what? Did you show off your cars and stuff too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Over there at the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. that, we'd parked them over there. And so, like I said, we didn't have the Enco, but we had all the others yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. um, for anybody that took, this, took the tour, you guys saw the game store, probably the outside of it from a distance. Uh, recently, they just put the yeah, roof up and the was, walls. It was too hot. So literally, I'd walk them down after the studio open the tour, door. open the door, get out in the heat and go, there it is. All right, let's get back let's in get the back AC. inside. <laughs> yeah. So that, yeah, the Kickstarter, the Kickstarter hut, Dr. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. You, you notice how hot it was in there. Yeah. Imagine pulling 16,000 orders yeah. in that heat. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Uh, people taking photos of the skeletal parts in the gallery. Oh, bottleneck of your tour. I see. Nice. And it must be time for marbles. No, oh. no, marble. Yes, no, yes, no. You gotta start a new tournament, and we'll do it. Uh, Ed, let people. Yeah, oh, I Darth offered Vader. too. Yeah, I had a couple of tours where. Yeah, I call it. You know, anybody want to get a, a picture with Uncle Darth while they're touring Reaper? Mm -hmm. There is a few bottlenecks, but especially because his arms will move, and uh, so you get the little kids, oh, yeah. and so you get the little kids standing in front of him. And you can have Vader, his hand on the kid's shoulder, oh. like, yep, one, you know, one right off the apple here, you uh, know, kind of thing. You know, this is a future Sith Lord. <sighs> and there he is. We were oh. just talking about how slow your tours were. Ah, yes. The slowest tour in the West. <laughs> That's what we call him. Old Need slow tour Ed. Marble. 
Oh, he's talking to Ed. <laughs> so is it time oh, to put in the play, Justin? Not yet. Uh, well, let's choose a map first. All right. I'm trying to get small so you guys can see. We're way bigger than normal. Everything okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Here's one that has oh, 7%. Super smashing sites got a great rating and uh, even better elimination. And I like the name. Super smashing site. There you go. If there's a bunch of hammers. What do you bet? Yeah, I, I'd guess. Yeah. Mission point, please, and oh. <laughs> So many noises in my ear. Wow. Yeah. All right. Oh, I forgot the sprite bottles here. This is an, this is this is an Ed thing right here, right? Sponsored by Sprite. <laughs> look at these! Look at these rocks. Oh yeah, they're the cannons. Let me scoot over so you guys can see a little bit more. <laughs> drums, bang the battle drums. Oh, look at that! What's the face? Oh, it is angry. Yeah, with their hands. Green and the name is Super Smashing, so maybe it's Hulk themed. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's go. All right. So. Yes. All right, guys. We're after ReaperCon, so it's it's you know time to do a fresh start for marbles this year. And remember, if only one person survives or mm -hmm. only one person dies, that person gets a twenty dollar gift certificate, special Correct. gift card. And maybe, maybe one of John's coins out of his out of his stolen booty. <laughs> My stolen chest. It's mine. Stolen all mine. Booty. All right. I'm excited to see a lot of people get flung by these spinning paddles here. Oh, it's the castle tower. I think you've told me that before, Belandar. Yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting. And there you go. No, let's and go. And they're off. Let's see. Who's gonna be iffy? Wow. Oh wow, that's fast. I I five paints. Uh, he he was at ReaperCon sitting at the Holly table. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let me get out of the way here. Don't fall off the edge. <laughs> Reaper Dave's in first place, it looks like. There we go. Sorry. Oh, was, you were? I think you're in first place, Dave. I was blocking all the uh, people dying there. There's Smallish Sam. I met them at ReaperCon. Oh, Justin is dead. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. Oh, F. Francis. <laughs> oh, there you go. Sorry, Francis. <laughs> and then into the hammers. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Coffee Nerdery Beer. Oh, you're still in. Carrie oh, Michael nine Cosby. Cents chains got past it. Shout out to Carrie Michael Cosby teaching online classes during ReaperCon. I know some of them went a little bit over time too because there's no classrooms after you, so you just kept going. <laughs> so the rest is just playing the, the, the weight game back there. Yeah, Onitobi Kenobi. Let's see. It looks like nine cents change. Well, in trouble's trying to get in the top ten. Shout out to Nine Cents Chains. I saw your email. Uh, he won something, or they they won something a giveaway during oh, yeah? Reaper Live, and they sent a big poem to 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 oh. scene to to Courtney. Going around the corner, Nine Cents is still in the, the lead. Nine Cents might be first place. Uh oh. Starting off good. Starting off this tournament good. Reaper Dave, it looks like you're in like tenth place. Oh oh yeah. Suck on that, Justin. <laughs> oh, Justin. Gosh. Act to Angel Bane. And Nine Cents first place. Oh, act this little like portal in the middle. It it uh, it slows gravity. You see Jedi oh, Jared and all them. I... Yeah. Oh wow. So if you hit it, uh, it slows your gravity for a little bit. I don't know, Twist. I'm, what happened to you? Goodbye, Jedi Jared. There you are. Ishan Loki. There you are. You're bringing up the rear, Twist. Oh, Gares. You and Gares. Uh oh. oh. Bye, Twisted. Bye. <laughs> I, was just I knew him. Knew away. him well. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're, you, wow, you're just going out into infinity there. there Grass is finally going to finish. And Garrett. Bonk. There nine cents nine change. Nine cents change. Congratulations. Shout out to nine cents. Reaper Dave, eighth place. Look at that. Yeah, Dave, well, you know. Place. Hey, a lot Jeep of practice. Newbie. Jeep Newbie won last night on Reaper Live. I know who you are now, Jeep Newbie. You and your family. Hope you had fun at ReaperCon. <laughs> That doesn't sound ominous at all. I know. I know you your are. family now. <laughs> no, I, I I met him two Reapercons ago. I gave him a tour. So, all right, do we want to do one that's a little safer? Yeah, that was that was pretty. That yeah, was yeah, pretty yeah. Uh, Happy deadly. Rainbow District. You know what? I'm going to join in this one. This, this you weren't in the last one. No. Six percent means there's a good chance if we only have one person fall out. Yeah. 
And it's rainbow smooth. Rainbow, like Mario Kart. Let's see here. I think I'm in. Oh, this is fun. Play. Maybe we can get Ed in on the game. Nah. Reaper Ed actual. Looks like he's chilling back there. Reaper, Reaper, Ed, Reaper actual. Ed actual. <laughs> <laughs> One of his 20 Twitch accounts. Nefarsis. Uh, smallish, smallish Sam. I think you were the one that was talking to me about the convention down in South Texas, I think. Uh, send me an email, I think. I, just, whatever. I think they were probably thinking of the Dark Side of the Moon album when they came up with this design. This time, my marble will have to move faster. I like the Rainbow well, Bridge. That's I cool. I think you either end up in the gravity well, like you end up in these pipes here, or you end up in that pipe. Hmm. We'll find out. I'm sure. I'm excited. Oh, it, it wasn't you, Smallish Sam? I can't remember who it was then. Oh. I talked to so many people. Okay, so that's, that's new. That sort of tick down tune. That's the timer at the top. You guys yeah. actually have audio now. Oh, ah. Oh, okay. Uh, probably Mage, if I had to guess. Mm, oh, no. Crap. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh. Not yeah, until the some whole on the pandemic backside. is over. No. Yeah, not for a while. Oh, man. Wow. Dr. Okay. Bob. Cranky. Di wow, just shoots everybody down there. It looks like Mark Duker took a shortcut along with Mighty Jabberwock. It looks like we're breaking some tiles. Oh, yeah, I see inside the tunnels. We're breaking the boxes. Oh, yeah? It looks oh, like okay. We oh, we're getting a log jam down here in the, the bottom of the tunnel. Somebody call a plumber. We need to get him out of there. I see this. Whoever breaks you on this back side. Twistoma. Twisted. Oh, man. Twisted might be. Uh-oh. Oh, Hoppy. Man. Hoppity hop. Reaper Miniatures, hoppy, hoppy, number hoppy. four. Justin, you're actually doing something. <laughs> He's cheating. Literally, I'm cheating, yeah. Oh, Looks wow, like this twisted. is the end of this oh, one. Oh, no, Hoppy Hoppy Hippo. Nope. I see Bryce Coconauer. <gasps> hey. Emily. Emily, let's see if you... Oh, Bryce oh, Coconauer. Oh, Emily. Bryce Coconauer got fourth. Taterness. Oh, taterness doesn't die here. Oh, oh, oh that that's funk. unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh coffee Coffee nerdy here? beer. Oop. Is mac and cheese here, too, coffee? Say hi to the family. There's Pendrake. Twisted Mo Brock. <laughs> it looks like Mo Brock was last. Let's see who are the top ten. Twisted Hoppy Freestyle Bryce. Shout out to Bryce. Lieutenant Floby, Reverie. Un Untamed Isham. Garess and Reaper Miniatures, tenth place. Oh. oh. You decided to show up this time, Justin. <laughs> Apparently. Well, let's see. Where were you at, Dave? I met the dog oh, father I too. I think I died early. I met Where the dog father, Reaper Con too. How many people do we have? Yes, I met the dog father too. Yeah. I only had four people. Look at that. Zesty Utters. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> All right, let's look at some standings real quick so we can see what the rest of the month holds. Yeah. I got 11th place. First place of the people that don't matter much. You're the first loser. Now, you first still got points. First. Look at that. Look, hey, Bryce. Twist. Was this Bryce top eight? Chaos Queen? Yeah. I think Chaos Queen was that Reaper too. Mar yeah, she won. Or they were, yeah. Hoppy Hoppy Hippo. Freestyle. The Dog Father. Got to meet the Dog Father. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Nine Cents Chains and Twisted. Let's see if you guys can keep it for the rest of the month. Caress, you, you redeemed yourself after that first one. Reaper Minutes. Hey, there I am points. in 15th. Uh, with six points. Yeah. Two yeah. points above, above Justin. You're only two points ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, you're toast. You're toast. I see Smallish Sam at 21st. Chewy Boots. Well, let's see who the first zeros are. Zero point gang. I think it's like a little bit down. Little. Hello, Justin. There we go. Bonk. Uh, let's see. First zero point is Mac and Cheese. Oh, Mac and Cheese. Mac oh. and Cheese is here. Shout out to Mac and Cheese. Uh, and then everybody else, you're all zero point gang. If you didn't see your name up there. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Yeah. All right. Well Tune done, next everybody. Week, where we have a bunch of more uh, paint jobs to show off. Yeah, Reaper we'll probably Con be photos. talking about ReaperCon photos as well, too. Yeah. More of them. But we'll be showing off those, you know, over the course of the next year. Probably. Getting hyped up for next year. I mean, the, this one just ended. We got to gotta <laughs> we gotta let it sit for a second you know you gotta let it, it end it did yeah settle. we kind of have to it's gotta you settle know. yeah you know you do yeah yeah you gotta, yeah. S you gotta let it soak <laughs> yeah <laughs> you gotta soak it John. yeah we gotta you know we just dunked it in simple green we just gotta let it sit for a little bit <laughs> we'll be back but yeah thank you guys very much have a safe and great weekend thank you stay safe get your vaccines if you haven't who are we raiding 
Yeah. I thought, I saw, Mini, I thought I saw Miniac on. Let, Who else is on? Uh, the Miniac. Miniac is on. Uh, Studio J. Go with Miniac. Okay, yeah. Play in the Mud, Valhalla, Fantasy, Giggling Geekettes on too. Oh, Giggling's on. Let's read Giggling. Okay, let's read, yeah. Oh, we saw her at... Uh, yeah, ReaperCon, yeah. She was wearing a flower crown. Was... So go 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 listen to the sultry tunes of Giggling. <laughs> right. She's very soft-spoken. She's very soft when she speaks. Is she? Yeah. Have a great weekend, folks. Oh, Kathy Wapp was on, too. Um, safe. Tell Giggling we said hi. Yeah, tell Giggling we said hi. And we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaper Land.